Hi guys, this is gonna be a very, very messy kind of unplanned video because as you know, I don't, I don't like to appear in videos. Most of the videos that I do are about the trips, are concentrating, concentrated on the places that we go and tips. But I actually just unboxed all of the stuff that we brought from Kenya and I was like, you know what, there's some cool stuff here and this would have helped me before we went to have an idea of the stuff that you can get there and also how much. I think the price was the most difficult thing for us, like we had no idea how much things were worth. So it was hard for us to negotiate and I left that part for uh, Matthias because he's really good at it, he's a salesman or he used to be a salesman so I left this with him but um, even sometimes like he came to me was like how, how much do you think this is worth it was hard to guess you know so maybe this can help somebody who's headed there or who's thinking about going there and you can have an idea an idea of the stuff that you want to bring home or stuff that you want to buy friends and um, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is that um, you're gonna use your negotiating skills a lot even our guide before we stopped at a shop because you're gonna stop in many shops even if you don't want like you have to stop at shops because the distances between the parks are so long like they're so big that you have to stop at the shops um, to go to the bathroom like you have to pee at some point right so you're gonna go through the shop and like you're gonna look around because the shops are big and they have a lot of interesting stuff if you like art and this is the thing with Matthias and I when we travel we like to buy art we like to decorate our house with memories of the trips um, we've made and you look around the house there's a little bit of our story um, about the places we've been and it's cool right and one of the things that I really wanted to buy I, kn I knew I wanted like African masks and something that just called my attention but I didn't know what I would find so hopefully this is gonna help you to have an idea of the things you're gonna find I'm gonna try to explain a little better um, the variety of the stuff you're gonna find and about the prices so we're gonna start with the stuff that we actually did not buy um, in the normal shops we bought three things uh, which I was not planning on but we bought three things in hotels and I just did that because I was like, I entered the hotel, every, every hotel has a shop and I don't think anybody plans on buying anything in a hotel because of course it's going to be more expensive, you're going to see many things are just repetitive, you're going to find a lot of the same, so why would you buy at a hotel, right? and not in one of the shops that are a lot cheaper you can negotiate but we did because um, at the last hotel we were which was at Kilaguni Hotel in Savo West we found many things that we didn't find anywhere else and um, they were reasonably priced in my opinion so the first thing we bought was of course I don't even know how this is called in English like in in Germany we say Schneekugel um, it's not a snow, snow globe, right? it's a snow, it's a snow globe normally I, I get the bigger ones but they were very expensive like there was a huge massive one that costed $35 and I was like well first of all this is not gonna arrive in Germany without a scratch like this is this is gonna suffer so um, I didn't want to spend $35 in something that I was not sure it would arrive perfectly um, here so I just got the mini one and this costed seven dollars and I thought it was okay right I mean I have a collection of these so I had to buy it I had to have one another thing we bought um, at a hotel was this map I showed in the stories of Instagram and I just I couldn't resist like this map is so cool I'm trying to open it yeah right probably um, this is just so cool like I'm not that much into maps but when it comes to rustic maps like old maps I love it and I thought this would look good on our wall in the office because it's also informative and this costed $14 so you can see it's like a it's like an old map, you know, it's made like an old map and it has the name of the places, am I showing it right? It has the name of the places, where you can find some animals, so I think it's gonna look good on the wall, we'll see. We'll see. Snacks that we bought in a hotel, um, 
we bought this sticks I bought this sticks not Matisse but I, I had to have it so these are appetizer sticks like they're so cute like this is an elephant is it not gonna focus uh, this is an elephant um, and it has like all all animals like there's a zebra there's a lion there are many so but they're like they're too big for appetizer sticks I find it so I was like you know what I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna use it on my hair and of course I'm not keeping all of them I'm gonna give some away to friends and family so yeah and it, it helps I have I have tried so and this costed um, $13 it was a bit more up there, but I mean, I, I thought it was pretty cool, especially when I can get some and also um, give some to friends of mine. So this is basically um, the things that we bought in um, in a hotel, which I do not recommend. Only if you see something that you fall in love with, which happened to us. Now, um, from the shops, um, we bought these combs, which I thought it was so cool. They're combs, like for the hair. I'm not sure I'm gonna wear it like this. Like, it does work. It does work. But I find them so beautiful. Um, they actually came like this together. And I was like, you know what? Um, I may use it as decoration. You know, like it's, it's too cool to use it as a comb. You know, there's a rhino here. And these costed, actually, it costed um, $10 only for both. Um, but in the end, Matthias felt bad. He was like, I think I negotiated too hard. I'm gonna give them um, five more. So in the end, we got it for 15, but you could have gotten for 10. Um, another thing, uh, we bought this cute elephants. And this is um, dark wood, this is ebony. It's very heavy, like you cannot imagine. Um, is it focusing? You cannot imagine how heavy this tiny elephant is. This actually costed, if I'm not mistaken, it costed $15 um, dollars for three. So we bought two elephants and a rhino, which is also pretty cool. We thought this was like the perfect, perfect thing to give away so um, we're actually gonna keep the elephants because we have a thing for elephants we keep buying elephants in the trips we, we, we go on um, but we're gonna give the other two away and the three of them costed um, $15 and I don't think we negotiated that I think that was it one of my favorite items a mask oh I wanted a mask so oh my god this is creepy but I wanted a mask so much and Zebras are not even, they're not even my favorite, but I looked at this mask and I was like, it's so cool. This is gonna look so cool on the wall and it's just beautiful, beautifully done, um, very big. You're gonna find this in all kinds of sizes. So I believe we bought the biggest, so you're even gonna find like um, middle size, like um, smaller size, and there are even tiny ones. You know at different prices and this one if, if, if I'm not mistaken I think it cost around $25 it was more expensive but oh my god there's some paper here still uh, but like you can see this is wood like real wood is like it's art like I found it beautiful I can't wait to hang this on the wall so if this costed $25 you can only imagine um, you can get um, different sizes for, of course, a lot less than that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the tiny ones were, they were about this size. I them for like four dollars. Another mask that we got, and it's unfortunately we're not keeping this one. This is a gift actually for my dad. He loves masks, and I actually wanted something smaller, but um, I thought like the price was so good for this. How how much do you think this is worth? We bought it for $22 and it's like also wood, dark wood, it's beautiful, it's all worked, painted, I just found it beautiful and for $22 and for comparison purposes, um, I brought this mask here to show you. So, oh my god, there is still the price, great, so I can tell you, we brought this mask from New Zealand, this was the only thing we brought back 
from New Zealand because everything was so expensive but of course like this is also like really good material really good wood um, I would say it's better quality than the ones we got from Africa but still um, this costed us $250 now I'm not sure if this is like New Zealand dollars probably this is New Zealand dollars I have to see how much this is actually in like US dollars but can you imagine like that's the price for one mask that we bought um, in New Zealand and these from Africa these two were also pretty cool more rustic I would say um, they were around like 20 like 22 25 each really 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 good stuff really good prices another really cool thing I actually we were painting already and then I saw these and I was like Matthias don't kill me but this is so cool so these are two giraffes like they're they're like less artistic I would say but I still find it so cool and I just wanted it because um, the decoration of our living room is actually um, yellow so I was like oh this is gonna be perfect and we bought it for I can't remember um, if it was 10 or 15 dollars um, it's also solid wood um, really cool so that's um, actually this was the bigger version they had like um, smaller ones that I bet you can get for less than ten dollars um, so this cost so let's say 15 I think it was 15 so we got this um, for that price and Matthias favorite are the Ma oh, oh I was gonna say the Maori it's not the Maoris are in New Zealand um, these are the Maasai so they came like this um, we assemble them here at home and these are so cool so these these statues they represent um, the indigenous the Maasai from Kenya um, it's also dark wood really well done um, they have these in all of the sizes you can imagine um, this is not the biggest this is like um, the biggest that you can put maybe on a table you know but they have even sizes they are like they would go up to my waist um, yeah so <laughs> in comparison these are small but um, these are the biggest that you can maybe put on a table um, the other ones they were more for like maybe standing next to a door I don't know how much that would cost you um, these costed us around also 25 if you don't want something this big um, there were some that were like maybe around here and there were even smaller ones these are also pretty cool and I was also like oh my god don't kill me but I just saw these two and like they're so cool um, these are drawings made on um, banana leaves <laughs> so it's like it's like a drawing I can't explain well but they get the I don't know I don't know actually how they frame this but now I can see it's actually I think they actually draw this and they glue on the banana leaf that's that's what I can see right now but it's like there's such a cool effect and just knowing that this is like a banana leaf it's just it makes it cooler so two giraffes and this is like a Maasai village and we want to hang them both and if I'm not mistaken they costed um, both of them around ten dollars another thing that is gonna you're gonna see everywhere are the bracelets the Maasai bracelets the Maasai people they do a lot of sculptures um, as you could see um, they do a lot of beads as well so jewelry from beads and this is one thing that yes you can buy in the shops you can buy in hotels you're gonna find them everywhere but this is something like this too for example I bought from Maasai that was that were just um, approaching our car like oh do you want to see what we have to sell um, they're like more on the simpler side um, we bought these for like five both five dollars for both um, you see like the quality is not amazing but it's also a way that you can help them you know like buy something from them they're also gonna sell like the small sculptures and I bet you're gonna 
get them for the same prices as the shop or maybe if you really insist you can get it cheaper even but there is a difference in quality of course so these are like the more simpler ones that I bought um, so five dollars for both and this is like more high quality I bought this actually in a hotel in Masai Mara base camp Mara and you can see like it's it has a better finish to it of course um, there are more beads and this costed um, $15 and I also bought this other one to give a friend of mine um, also really good quality it's just um, like some cool stuff if you want to buy something um, for some girlfriends of yours boyfriends or I mean anybody can like it right this we also bought um, by we also bought from Maasai that approached our car we actually thought this was um, poetic you know so it's a couple with a little kid oh, I just I just thought it was so cute and this was really like for for the art of it and it's also wood it costed us only ten dollars one thing we did not buy am I forgetting something I don't think so one thing we did not buy um, we actually got as a gift from our guide <coughs> sorry but you can buy if you want are the Maasai blankets if you followed the stories um, you saw that um, in the orphanage there was an elephant wearing one of these the Maasai they're always wearing like a blanket on top um, we got two so one for each person and um, well, we're gonna use as like covers for our bed and I think it's a lovely memory because we saw this everywhere All of the indigenous people they wear this. So it's hard for me to guess how much you can buy this for But I think if you negotiate pretty hard, I you can buy for like ten dollars Probably probably so that's it. That's all of the stuff we brought back from Africa I can't wait to decorate the house with it some other things we're gonna give away um, and I hope this is gonna be helpful for somebody who's planning a trip there and wants to plan more or less um, where you're gonna spend your money, um, what you're gonna bring if you like don't like the mask, if you like the masks, and like tiny other things for like friends. I can only hope this was helpful. Bye bye.